Let me just quickly give you a list of four emotions that can change your life in one day. Emotions are powerful. Sometimes it doesn't take much to alter your whole life direction. Number one, disgust. Powerful emotion. Disgust says, I have had it. That could be the day. The day you can say, I've had it. And whether you've had it with something small or something major, the day you can say, I've had it, may not be the day it ends, but the day it begins. Powerful day. The man's finally had it with mediocrity. He's had it with being a loser. He's finally had it with those awful sick feelings inside. Could be the day that turns your life around. The day you can say, I've had it. Here's the next one, decision. And decision making is powerful. And it's emotional. That's those knots in the pit of your stomach, right? Waking up in the middle of the night in a cold sweat, trying to decide. We sometimes call it inner civil war. <laughs> what shall I do? Well, for progress, you must decide. The best advice I can give you came from a wealthy friend of mine who said, if it's easy, do it easy. If it's hard, do it hard. Just get it done. If you went home tonight and in the next few days cleaned up a whole list of decisions, that might furnish enough inspiration for the next 10 years. I found this out many times after you've decided getting on with it is easier than deciding. Sometimes decision is the toughest part. Here's the next emotion, desire, wanting to bad enough. And I don't know how to tell you to want to, that's something you've got to come up with. There's two things I know about desire. Number one, it comes from inside, not outside. You don't send off for it. Number two, I know desire can be triggered by something. Who knows what it might be? Sometimes desire waits and sleeps for something to happen. Maybe it's a book, maybe it's a song, maybe it's a sermon, maybe it's a lecture, a seminar, maybe it's the conversation of a friend, a happening, an event. Who knows? Welcome every human experience. You never know which one is going to turn it all on. Even the bad experiences. Sometimes from the bitterest experience comes the greatest awakening. So let down the barriers, take down the walls. The same wall that keeps out disappointment keeps out happiness. Let life touch you. Don't let it kill you, but let it touch you. Here's the last one. This one's powerful. Resolve. Resolve says I will. Two of the most powerful words in the language, I will. Benjamin Disraeli once said, nothing can resist a human will that will stake even its existence on the extent of its purpose. Shortly put, I'll do it or die. See, that's powerful. That could be the day that turns your life around. The world has a strange way of stepping aside when somebody says, I'll do it or die. The man says, I will climb the mountain. They've told me it's too high, it's too far, it's too rocky, it's too difficult. It's never been done before, but it's my mountain, I will climb it. Pretty soon you'll see me waving from the top or dead on the side, because I ain't coming back. Now let me show you what triggers all emotions into activity that brings results. And results is the name of the game. Here it is. Action. Finally, you must do something about how you feel. Jesus, the master teacher said, don't just be listeners, be doers. 
Another Bible phrase says, faith without action is useless. Some people these days are big on affirmations. You've got to be very careful of affirmations. There's a thin line between faith and folly. The best clue I can give you on affirmations is this. Affirmation without discipline is the beginning of delusion. And there's nothing worse than delusion. The guy keeps walking west looking for the sunrise. I mean, delusion is bad. However, affirmation with discipline can bring the most spectacular results. Make sure you always have a game plan to match your wishes. Otherwise, they will always be wishes. The day that turns your life around. Here's the questions I want you to take home. First question is one of the major questions of the world. Why? Why should you try? Why read that many books? Why go that far? Why earn that much? Why share that much? Why learn all that? Why get up that early? Why put yourself through that much? Why try for all that? Good question. Why? One of the best answers to why is the second question. Why not? What else are you going to do with your life? Why not see how many books you can read, how far you can go, how much you can earn, how many friends you can make, how much personality you can develop, influence you can have, how many things you can accomplish, how far you can go and what you can see. Why not? You got to stay here till you go. The third question is, why not you? Why not you? Some people have done the most incredible things with limited start. Why not you? Some people have done so well, they get to go, they get to see it all, they get to do it. They get to be there. They get to have it, they get to enjoy it. Why not you? Why not you watching the morning mist rise over the mountains of Scotland? Exploring the mysteries of Spain, soaking up history in London. Why not you? You got to take a stroll through the palace of Versailles. Why not you? Someday you got to gaze directly at the Mona Lisa. I can show you where to find the most exquisite seashells in Miami and the Bahamas. I know where they are. Why not you? You got to shop on Fifth Avenue in New York. You got to stay at the Waldorf Astoria. Why not you? You got to drink in an Arizona sunset. You got to see the world. You got to read the books. You've got to do the enterprises. You've got to be involved in commerce and love and travel and experiences. You got to do it all. Why not you? You've got to know the results that come from splendid discipline. There's nothing like a view from the top. And the last question is, why not now? Don't postpone your better future any longer. Get at it tomorrow with new vigor. Get you some new books. Ask some new questions. Set some new goals. Get you a new journal. Start your projects book. Get a game plan going. Do some more reading. Start to make changes. Have conversations. Make contact. And do it now and if you will I have a feeling one of these days we'll be hearing your story 